I have always seen that actions speak louder than words. I have watched for centuries. I watch still. I enter your meeting unannounced. I am always unannounced. For such is my way. To come with the breeze. To be as a shadow upon the wall, unnoticed. To cast my mantle around you. And then, suddenly, to be somewhere else. Why? Am I here? I come bearing gifts, not seen of I. To each one I give. To each one I give a flight of history, your own. Most of you have been with me in Greece, Athens, but that is my home. Your culture is not new to me, but what appears the reincarnation of our culture. What then has been the difference? It is this, doubt and the lack of it. We were not a doubting people. And in that way, perhaps I was an exception. For I doubted. I doubted seriously. I doubted grievously. I doubted that there had ever been any man who had risen from a grave. And in my doubt, there was ferocity. For I saw those that were then believers as dangerous to our society to our culture. And I persecuted him. As such, I was an instrument of God unbeknownst to me. I was the wet stone upon which their faith was sharpened or blunted. That was the role I gave myself even though I had spoken with one who had doubted yet more than I. I doubted that I had not seen. I had seen nothing. Save these strange people who believed in one they called a Christ. But I had met and spoken to one who had doubted when he had seen this Christ, both before and after that change called death. Of course, he believed by the time of our speaking, but had doubted, though he had seen. 
My voice curdles out of space to you. It comes from that source unknown to you. But I come to give you freedom of doubt. You can see the face of at least one of your parents right this moment if you try. You can see the face of one who has brought you grief right now if you try. You can see the face of the one you love the most right now, even if that one may not be in this room, if you try. You can see all of these things and more. What then brings the doubt? It is doubt in your own perception. Believe then. Believe what you hear. Believe what you see. When of the spirit these things are spoken to. Enjoy your belief. It is more comfortable than your doubt. For your doubt is as a bed that allows you no firm. But belief is as a feather down cradling you to warmth. Give it thought. Children are happy. They believe. The so-called uneducated often show a brilliance in their eyes. They believe. Some of those you call the elderly who glow with joy, they believe. You will find universally those in most pain are those in most doubt. Lighten your loads then. Believe more deeply. Believe that which you already believe, but only by degree. And let us see the auras here shine forth a new commitment not to any outer agency, but to your own perception, which you now can allow yourself to believe or deep you. Belief gets you everywhere. Without not much can be said. Even if it be the belief that what you are hearing from the mouth of another may not be quite factual. You are still believing in your inner perception versus simply doubting their work. Live not in doubt. It does you no favor. But believe. Believe all you dare to believe concerning the spirit and you will be closer to it. For the spirit is the world of belief. I invite you to Athens in your finer body when these lay to take their rest. Come, seek me out. I will show you something that you can see.